Let's go and welcome back everybody to Doki Doki Memories of Nothing. Last episode we learned that Siori has two kids and that's pretty much all you gotta know really. Um, if this is your first time watching this mod, this is pretty much DDLC through Natsuki's perspective, plus a little bit of a mystery twist. Natsuki discovered some kind of secret diary journal that has her handwriting in it, so maybe it was like Natsuki from another reality or something like that. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. That's all you gotta know. So with that being said, let's continue the mod playthrough and uh, see what happens. Let's go. This is us just finishing up our conversation about Siori having two kids, by the way. Um, anyway, uh, see you guys later. And with that, it was my turn to leave the new guy dumbfounded. Today, I win. Bye, Natsuki. <laughs> oh, shit. That was a very abrupt cut, but you know what? Hey! That's Doki Doki memories of nothing for you. Monica wasn't around much during club. Everyone could see that. But it wasn't only until recently we found out that she hadn't been attending class for more than a week. Hmm. Together we decided it was a good idea to give her a visit. Just not all at once. We were all going to pay her visits in groups of two because of her condition. What? but also because some members weren't recommended during visits, uh, doing visits alone. The new guy, well, because he was new. We didn't really know Monica, and because of the nature of her condition, Monica didn't deal too well with strangers. And the other members was, and the other member was. Oh shit, dude, oh gosh, what is happening? <clears throat> All of a sudden, this is getting like very melodramatic. It'll be fine. I don't know what you're so worried about. You know what I'm worried about. I mean, yeah, but that's why I'm with you. You shouldn't have to be. It'll be fine. It's not her fault. I know that. She's just... She's just... She doesn't like me. <laughs> Uh, no! She's just having trouble remembering, that's all. She's like that with everyone. Intimidated. Not with you. Come on, we're almost there. Hey, Moni. It's me. Siori. And look who I brought along, it's Natsuki! Hey, Monica. Uh, hello. As much as she tried to make a smile, it still shrank a little bit when she saw me behind Siori. She was still in bed, presumably, because she didn't have enough energy to get up. You're looking a lot better since last time. How are you doing? I I'm okay. Good. You're still a little pale, though. You sure you're eating enough? Yeah. Here, we brought some sandwiches too. Natsuki made them. Siori pulls up a chair and starts bringing out the food from the bags. Thank you. Monica didn't look at me. I can't eat too much. That's fine. You can eat them later when you're hungry. Have you made sure to take your medicine? Yeah. That's good. How are the sessions going? I don't know. Why is that? I don't... Remember. You know, Club's been feeling kind of down when you're not there, Moni. Sorry. It's not your fault. I just meant that we miss you, that's all. Thanks. We had a new club member join named Rar. You remember him? Uh, my friend? Uh, I think so. Yeah, he's been doing well. I've been trying to get him to read more, but... <laughs> he ends up just following Natsuki around. I feel my eyes rolling. But yeah, more members! 
It's almost feeling a bit crowded these days. <laughs> Monica looks worried. Uh, well, we'll take it slowly when you recover, all right? And, um, yeah, Yuri's the same, buried in her novels. I think she's actually getting faster. She can finish two books in a day now. Wait, really? Yeah, I don't know how she does it. It's like she has four eyes or something. And, uh, yeah. I've been learning a lot about acting as a president. It was kind of tough at first, but I think I'm getting used to it. The paperwork is annoying. <laughs> I was never good at that. But yeah, I've been learning to organize and take care of- uh, take charge of things. When you come back, when you get better, the club is gonna be so much fun, you'll see. Monica's eyes had that tired look. I could tell from her flushed cheeks and her baggy eyes that she's been crying. I, I d don't think I'm getting better. Why would you say that? Don't say that! Of course you're getting better! I, I don't know. Siri and I quickly exchanged glances. I, I can't... Re, re, remember. I could see Monica's eyes start to glisten. Oh, Monica, it's fine. Siri quickly wrapped her arms around the girl in bed. It'll be fine. It'll be okay, Moni. Shit, man. There's, mm, there's something about her calling Moni here. <clears throat> She's always doing a good job, you know? I, I can just... I imagine how tough this situation would be for, you know... Someone like Siori to act this way. When clearly, you know, it's a very unfortunate situation to be in. Um, if you are watching this episode and, and you haven't watched the previous ones, just know that, like, I don't really know what's going on either. Um, you know, it's, as I said, there's some mysteries involved. But, uh, damn. <clears throat> okay. It'll be okay. You'll remember soon. The doctor said if you keep taking your medication, you'll remember, right? He said so. The doctor said it. He said you'll remember. He promised. Yeah. It'll be okay. It'll be okay, Monica. Siri so kept saying those words. She repeated those words for a long time, hugging Monica, rocking back and forth. It'll be okay, she kept saying, over and over. But... I'm not sure exactly who exactly she's saying that for. <clears throat> Damn. Hmm. You know, despite your protesting earlier, you seem to be devouring that lunch as if it just insulted your lineage. I give him a glare. Alright, alright, I get it. I guess uh, you must have just been hungry. I wordlessly continue eating. You know, you're a lot different than how I first imagined. How? Well, you're a lot nicer than I thought. Tina! Who the fuck is Tina? Well, well. I preemptively tense up upon the recognition of that voice. If it isn't Little Shrimpy. Tina. And who's this? You got a little fanboy following you around again. Something like that, yeah. The new guy nervously looks at me, obviously confused. Should have known. You were always popular with the boys. <laughs> so, Shrimpy, tell me. You still in that nerdy club of yours? What if I am? Oh, tough girl, huh? Working out at the library. <laughs> and you? Still throwing orange balls around? Of course I am. I'm the best damn player on the team. Color me surprised. 
All right, enough small talk. You're in my spot. You're gonna have to pay the fee, kids. Fee? Your spot? You know damn well this is my spot. And what if I do? What are you gonna do about it? Natsuki. I guess you didn't understand the first time. Pay up now or you're gonna get it. Someone's gonna get it. And that someone's gonna be you. Oh, you're asking for it now. Kina starts briskly stomping towards me. I try to brace for impact. She's running towards me now. Wait. Wait a minute. I don't know who you are or what kind of beef you have with Natsuki, but... There's no need to fight. I'm sorry, Rar, but you're gonna have to be still a little bit less of a pussy. You're, you're gonna have to really stand your ground here, kid. Tina just stares at the new guy. If you really need to beat someone up, then... Oh my god. <laughs> your name should not be Rar! You are pathetic! Oh god. <laughs> oh. <sighs> it's okay, Rar. It's okay. It's okay. You can beat me up instead. Who the hell are you? I... I'm Natsuki's... I'm Natsuki's boyfriend. Now that's what I'm talking about, bro. That's what I'm freaking talking about! Cha-ching, baby! Let's go! He practically shouted it. <laughs> Shrimpy, where'd you find this guy? He's hilarious. Tina collapsed on the floor now, banging the ground with her fist. Ugh. Wait, what's so funny? Oh my god! <laughs> what? Boyfriend! <laughs> She's still howling. Just kill me now. New guy still frozen in utter confusion. Jeez, you said... <clears throat> I knew you said he was a cute puppy, but he's really something else. Oh, my sides. <laughs> all right, all right. I helped Tina off the floor. Yeah, well, that's just how he is. I didn't say cute, though. He kind of is, though. Damn, you gotta find me a girl like this. This guy's funny, dude. You can have him. Wait, you guys know each other? Duh! Yeah, Tina's my best friend. <laughs> what? Oh my gosh, talk about the biggest subversion. Thank you. Thank you, M! Thank you for not making her the bully, because everybody says Natsuki gets bullied, but she doesn't! Oh my god! <laughs> oh, that's great. Since kindergarten, yo-yo. Tina makes some rapper gestures. Stop that, it's cringy. What? You did them too? That was like years ago. Yeah, uh-huh, sure. More like days ago. Geek. Muscle head. Shrimpy. Forehead. Yo, you can see your tummy. Do you see that, dude? Little, little tummy action there? <laughs> All the while this is happening, new guy stupefied. <clears throat> Another win in my book. Hey, uh, you okay, dude? Hello? You want to take a poop or something? I can't help but chuckle even though I feel stupid about it. New guy doesn't even know how to respond. Should I uh, carry him to the nurse? Only if you do a princess style. Deal. I... I'm fine. I'm gonna head back to class. Uh, yeah, class is starting. You think he's gonna be okay? He'll be alright. He really did look like he was gonna poop though. Okay, thanks. Thanks. <laughs> what a fucking stupid way to end it there. Oh my lord.
All right, we're back, baby. <clears throat> I it, it this isn't it. It's almost kind of got like a four coma Mongol ma, Mongol <laughs> manga type style like narrative going on here, where it's like it's very distinct like cut out sections of narrative and plot. I like it. It's it's kind of interesting. Like it's almost like episodic in a sense. Um, again, but everything still does kind of connect at the end of the day. This is cool. It's been a few days, and I've gotten into the habit of showing the new guy some of my manga. We sit in the same spot as last time, and I open up the second volume. I make note of a lot of the subtle repeated jokes and background elements to make sure he's paying attention. <laughs> I totally forgot that happens. I point it out to him. Minari's my favorite character. You always feel a little bad for her since she's so unlucky. But it gets especially bad when... Well, you'll see. Jeez, now I really want to know what happens. Even you sound more enthusiastic this time. Well, I'm starting to get into it, you know? <laughs> of course. I have impeccable taste. I guess you do. <clears throat> I suddenly realized how perky I was acting, but I attributed it to being excited about sharing my manga. After I caught myself, I decided to try and calm down. I'm gonna turn the page now. You ready? Okay. I noticed my arm was touching his. In fact, when I had a look at the current situation, we were sitting quite close together. I suddenly felt very self-conscious and put some distance between us. What's wrong? Nothing. It was a lie. I was starting to feel really uncomfortable. All right. <laughs> That's so good. I can't believe she actually did that. I guess this is a spoil, but spoiler. But does Minori actually Natsuki? Yeah. Are you sure you're okay? You don't look so good. I'm fine. I quickly stand up and start grabbing my thighs. Wait. Where are you going? Yeah, I'm going home. Tell Siori for me. See you tomorrow. I swing my bag over my shoulder and head out the door. Never heard I stood up and grabbed my thighs. I obviously understand what they mean by that, but I'm like, hmm, okay. <sighs> Since when did I let myself become so weak? Stupid. I say it loudly so we can hear. I know you're there. I can see you, you know. He stands out from a couple of tall bushes. Really? No, but I knew you'd come out if I said that. Oh. You okay? Yeah, I just... I just want to be alone for a bit. I guess I should, uh, you know. It's fine. You can stay. I'm done already. But thanks for trying to cheer me up. Well, it looks like I didn't even need to. Am I strong? Huh? Do you think I'm strong? Well... I think you're as tough as nails. Your punches hurt like hell and I'm a guy. I mean, you stood up to the most intimidating girl on campus. That's gotta mean something. You're strong, Natsuki. Strong as they get. You're the toughest girl I know. Tina's my friend, but thanks anyway. But I don't think being tough is your biggest strength. What makes you say that? Well, it's hard to see it at first, but you're really kind. You're very considerate of others, even if you may not show it on the surface. You gave Siori the charm and cat food, and you're always asking about Monica. I don't really know her that well, but I know you're worried about her. 
You're always thinking about your friends, and even though you seem like you're hard to talk to, you always give people chances. Like Tina. And... And me. Why... Why are you so nice to me? I've only ever been mean to you. That's not true. I think... Anyone else would have told me to stop bothering them by now. But you're different. I'm not. You are. And besides... I... I like you. What? I like you. Huh? I like you. I can't... I can't hear you. I like you! I could totally hear you the whole time. Oh! <laughs> Dude, I love that Natsuki is not just like... Natsuki's broken, right? But she is also strong. And the fact that she can play around here, e e even when she just had like a very weak moment, it's like, let's go, dude. That's great. Oh my god, Natsuki. You got me. I, I would have did the same thing. I, I would have fell right into your trap. I take it all back. You are mean. <laughs> we both suddenly burst out into laughter. Really, though? I, I meant it. I know. <laughs> I know that he didn't actually mean, like... Like, if you take that out of context, you almost think that, like, he seriously meant that we're mean. And I find that really funny. Um, clearly, he meant that he really likes us. Wow, a choice, huh? I mean... Listen, I don't want to fuck myself, but, like, I, I want... This is like living in a different reality, right? Okay? I want to live in the reality where I can fuck Natsuki, okay? So, have at it, guys. <clears throat> um, do you really mean that? Yeah. Natsuki. I feel the same way as you, so... I want to spend more time with you. My old face feels hot. I can't believe those words came out of my mouth. Rar suddenly gets closer to me. Wait, Rar! Standing inches from me, Rar looks directly into my eyes. I feel his fingers gently brush against my cheeks and run through my hair. His strong eyes fill my vision, along with his slightly parted lips. What's happening? My head starts to go dizzy as I feel his soft breath against mine. I felt it. For a while now. I think I love you. His lips meant mine. And it was as if time had stopped right there and there, then and there. But as much as it felt like an eternity, I kind of wish it lasted a little bit longer. Oh. That was really nice. Thank you, M. Thank you, man. I love you, M. Fuck. I, like, I don't feel close to any modder in this community besides M. M is a fucking real one, dude. I love M. Aw, oh, man. Um, so anyway, um, you might be like, well, there seems to be things that aren't, like, fully answered. What the heck is kind of happening here? Um, the way M makes his mods is that they all tie in together, and while you can consume all of them and kind of get certain things out of them and still enjoy the narrative regardless, you don't get the whole picture until you play all of his mods, and I have yet to do that. Um, I've played The Disappearance of the Literature Club, uh, uh, Memories of Nothing, um, A Don't, and... I think I played one other mod of his. He, I, I believe he has like six total. I think I have like two or three more mods I still need to play, um, which I think I probably will end up doing. Um, 
I just saw this one and it really caught my eye because all of his mods are usually like very dark and grim and gritty. And like you can see that again, this is part of the same universe because like Monica is dying. Yuri is like not there. There's things going on with her as well. Um, from one of the other mods I played of his, there was like an extra club member also. I, you know, I didn't see her here. I guess this took place before that mod, which was the disappearance of the club. There, you know, there's a lot going on with this stuff. And, and you know, maybe one day there, there'll, you know, we'll piece it all together. Um, but yeah, this was still a very nice standalone mod. I enjoyed it a lot. Um, and I look forward to playing more of M's mods and, and more DDLC mods somehow. Um... It's so funny because I, I really thought, I, I remember I was sitting down at my computer maybe like mm, three months ago or so and I was like, I'm probably about done with DDLC mods. And and all of a sudden, like, I'm down to play more again. I, I don't know what happened. Um, so yeah, I mean, you know, things have been good. Things have been good. I love doing daily DDLC uploads, I gotta be honest. Um, so yeah. Nice, easy, fun, cute, wholesome, whatever it may be. Um, thanks for watching, everybody. Hope you enjoyed. Leave a like if you did. Um, you know, if you want to leave a like, it's up to you at the end of the day. And uh, so live stream on Twitch almost every day. If you're watching this video, I am probably live on Twitch right now. There's a pretty good chance. So feel free to go to the top of the description and click my Twitch link. Come say hi. Make an account if you don't have one. You know, there's tons of raw content over there if you still want more. So try Twitch if you haven't. With that being said, thanks so much for coming by, everybody. I appreciate it a lot. Much love. Take care, and have a damn good one.